Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the transmission assembly on your tiller, make sure the engine has cooled and the on-off switch is in the off position. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now tip the tiller forward so it rests on the fuel tank and tine guard. Use a 7 16th inch socket and wrench to remove the nuts and bolts securing the handle assembly. Pull the assembly off and set it aside. Use a 5 16th inch socket to loosen the bolt to release the transmission housing from the engine flange. Now use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the mounting bolts securing the tine guard to the transmission housing. Note the orientation of the tine guard, then pull it off. Note the orientation of the tines themselves. Then remove the retaining pins and pull off both tine assemblies. You're now ready to install the new transmission assembly. Properly align each tine assembly on the new tine drive shaft. Secure them with the retaining pins. Align the tine guard. Then thread the mounting bolts and tighten. Confirm that the drive shaft is fully seated, then insert the transmission housing into the engine flange, making sure there is no gap. Tighten the bolt to secure. With one clamp positioned on a bolt, insert the bolt through the rear holes of the handle arms. Position the second clamp and thread the nut loosely. Now align the handle assembly on the transmission housing. Insert the second bolt, thread the nut, and tighten both nuts to secure. With the repair completed, return the tiller to its upright position.